Hello everyone. In this video we're going to go over uh, how I built my upside down pyramid base that when I put a zipline tower on top became a spinning top. So you can see I have it built on top of the base wall so it's really tall already and it gets way way up there. And kind of give you a couple of views from down here before I uh, pause and tear down and start all over. So I did, I did cut down all this grass just for the uh, nice clean view. So, it has windows on three sides. One side has no windows because that's the way up. But I'm going to pause now so I can tear it down and then I will come back and we will start building. I will tear it down everything including the foundation. We'll lay the foundation, lay the bounce web, and then continue building up. So I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, and we're back. 20 minutes later because that's how long it takes to delete a building that's uh, quite that size. So you see I have the baseball cleared off. I have a bunch of stuff cut down, but it'll go away. So, using that branch, get up on top of the baseball pretty easily. We're going to lay our nine sections of foundation. So, it's just a little three by three square. Now, we have a nice smooth area to work on. foundation is built. Now I'm going to set up the support walls at the center of each side. And then I'm going to stop right there because now I'm going to build a way back up. Because in the real game you obviously have to bring supplies up here. So I have that extend out I think one more past that. And then you can either do another square. I went for something other than, you know, a little fancy. Obviously, I would recommend some handrails. Because one, they look good. And two, you know, they keep you from running off the edge and then having to work your way back up here again. And just for the aesthetics, I went all the way around. Check something real quick. That'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and just handrail all the way out. But not on the end. Now, for laying the blueprints, to get the blueprints to drop all the way down to the ground, you got to start with a wall, a blank wall blueprint up here. You don't have to build it. And then you can bring your wall blueprints down like so that way you know exactly where to line up your foundation down here on the ground and once again I did I think a 2 by 3 section of my end game this is where I put the bounce web because I don't know if you guys have noticed there's many of my other videos I like bounce webs they're better for streaming they're less spinning. <laughs> Your audience doesn't get uh, nauseous. Now, of course, I don't like the way grass walls look. So, I didn't complete the blueprints. I, as soon as I got my foundation in place, I then deleted the blueprints and put up you know, these walls. There are weed stems all over the place, so I would, do, I would not worry too much about um, running out of supplies. Mining game is a little bit closer to the baseball. So, I mean, you don't have to you know, close it in. I'm going to, just for uh, peace of mind. You can leave it open, a little pasture area. It's up to you. Yeah, that's all. That's all your decision. Uh, all your decision. Now, we're gonna bounce web right there, and you know, in case you're trying to get up here, you know, it's late. Late, you know, it's time to sleep or whatever. 
I just have a light on each side. Um, two little happy lights. Alright. Now I'm going to go back up to the top. i got to take off those grass walls because the bounce web cannot clear four, four wall sections high. It only clears three. And I'm not going to bounce up and down a whole bunch of times trying to delete that. And I'm going to delete this too. Because I'm going to replace it with Weed Sim. With the Weed Sim wall. You don't have to. You can leave it out like that if you want. But this is, you know, that's how I like to build. But I would definitely try to block this off as much as you can. Just so you don't, uh, you know, get trapped. Alright. Enough with that. But that's your quick way up. Onto the baseball. One bounce web. And you're up. Now, each one of these wall sections here is going to be three high. And that's going to be the main support for your uh, your building. go now this build uses a lot of um, roof yeah, roof pieces in the basically the reverse way you should use them because as you notice in the picture all of the weed stem beams are on the outside now directly underneath the center here we will do a bounce web because that's what I like to do it's not the most uh, consistent or easy base to get into. I'll tell you that. But that's not why I built it. I built it because it looks cool. And so you do the inverted roof section to get the corners completed. Now for me in game, I then closed in all of this. With some weed sim walls. As you can see, there's a bunch of dandelions all to the west of here. So weed sims are not a problem when building this particular base. And then I just lay out the floor. This is basically your entrance area, landing area, whatever you want to call it, entrance hall. It'll have a couple of lights, some windows, and that'll be it. This area is very small. There's not much you can do with it. So just closing all this in. I'm not sure what I just built. I'm have to maybe have to find it and delete it. There it is. Can't mess up the look, man. Can't let can't mess up the look. All right. Now you have the entry landing area, whatever you call it, out the first floor even. Switching to the regular roof corners, not the squared ones, the regular ones. And those are going to be the basis for building all the way up like this. Since they will then allow you to put in the inverted. And each section gets two roof uh, pieces high. So like this is one, one high, we'll do another section up. Of course, I do have windows at uh, every major landing area, three windows, because the fourth window is the ramp up into the base. So here, instead of a roof piece, will be my windows. And I do the, I do a plant lamp in front of each window as well. At night, it actually glows. Looks really nice. I try to keep the lights away from the edge of the wall for when you get further up. I don't want the walls glowing. I just want the windows to glow. Now this section doesn't get a window. This is your ramp up. Your way up into the base is this way, but you have to switch back to the regular roof corner.
As you can see, this is a lot of clover leaves. So it's actually a pretty quick building game. At least I think it is. I've been told I build fast, but I think it's a quick build. It only took me two days. I don't mean two days in game. I mean two days uh, IRL. Now we switch to this. Sometimes you have to jump a little bit to make the inverted uh, corner pieces go where you want them. Of all the blueprints, they're probably the most annoying ones that I had to work with. And you see, I'm having to jump to get them to line up right. Um, some people might have an easier way. I mean, if I get up on top of this, it might line up correctly. There we go. not a big fan of switching between the blueprints uh, to go all around you can do that if you want instead of like <coughs> excuse me leaving a gap like I'm doing right here I'm gonna finish with one blueprint and then switch to the next one now for this one you go all the way around you complete the circle all the way around that way instead of just having four giant or three giant slots open on the side of your building you actually have uh, actual windows now you could do your windows up higher you know do the windows on the top section here instead of the bottom where I have mine but I like mine at the bottom because I can put the light there as well as it's a fast way out if you remember to bring your dandelion tuft this is a base that dandelion tufts become a must so now we're going to start the next floor above we're going to put down a couple of corner pieces right quick and you can basically line the whole edge with corners but if you're not happy if you're not fond of walking along the edge and potentially falling you can start one corner piece and then build out now for the corner for this section you need to leave both these squares open because if you if you leave it just the one square over here open like so you have to squat to get through there and I prefer just to be able to sprint right through oh that's gonna have to be deleted so you see that's that is an issue there with creative. <laughs> and X. Okay. And what I like to do is I will come in and build all of the regular square pieces first and then come back and do the edges with the triangle piece. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of constantly swapping back and forth between blueprints. I will finish with one blueprint and then switch to the next one. So even in game when I'm laying these out, I prefer to lay out as many of these regular gla grass floors as possible. Let's see, it is getting late in game, so I'll have to put a lean-to up here in just a minute. That way I'm not working at night because then it'll get dark on the video and then it'll be hard to see what I'm doing. Alright, so all the squares are done. Now I just have to fill in the edges. If you don't fill in the edges, you can fall through. Just for a little, little safety. Keep her from wandering around actually falling back through. Do a little something like that. Now we're going to start with the going up to the next floor. Once again back to the triangle roof piece. It builds uh, just fine like this. It is actually what supports the rest of the wall. If you don't have these completed, every other blueprint around it will say unsupported, whether it's the inverted or the regular roof piece. Oops, that's got to be deleted. And once again, there will be windows on this floor as well in the exact same spots. 
so that when you're standing on the ground and looking up, you have the nice clean look all the way around, consistent look. Now I'll switch to the inverted pieces because without them you can't do the the regular piece right there to, for your ramp up. It was in place too and then it moved. Just wrapping around. We have uh, what two more sides to complete with the inverted section. Put down a couple of windows and then go up another floor. Now this floor I don't use for much in game. I have mushroom gardens in here. That's about it. Uh, the floor isn't quite big enough for uh, what I would like to use it for, which is like the, the bed and everything. So that's on the next floor. So there is one more floor plus a roof. As you may see, the blueprints don't always want to work correctly. Luckily, in game, those those delete pretty fast. There we go. Now, just have to get that to. Okay, we need one regular roof, grass roof. Of course, it doesn't want to go in the right spot. That is the one issue that I found that slowed me down some. Was the blueprints didn't always want to sit where I wanted them to sit. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my windows again. Like I said, same thing. Might as well do that one since it's in the same orientation. I'll have to spin it. And then a lamp. And from the ground at night, with the lamps glowing in the windows, it actually looks, it gives it a very nice visual effect. back to the roof corner and now we begin the second set of uh, roof uh, pieces leading up to the next floor and with as many weed stems nearby <coughs> this base was actually pretty quick to build in this particular area because if you look off in the distance here you can see all the dandelion tops and over by the rake, rake handle, there are uh, eight, I think eight dandelion tufts and a couple of husky weeds, plus the ones that are right here next to the base. Unfortunately for me, mine are not regrowing in game right here next to the base. So I had to make a little bit of a run, but it's not very far. And I actually use this base to stock weed stems in my base that's over by the hedge where there are no weeds. And I'll have a video on building that base uh, coming soon. Alright, now we'll do the inverted pieces. Building while jumping causes a bit of lag. But if I can get the piece in the right spot. For some reason, that blueprint always wants to be a little iffy about where it sits, even though it's clearly meant to go in these gaps that I have left. And then we're just going to complete the last few grass roof pieces real quick. Because on the second level, it goes, it wraps all the way around for me. I don't like, I'm not going to leave that opening right there. 
if I can get the blueprint to sit in the right spot. Sometimes it all depends on just where you're pointing your camera. It was in the right spot and then it moved. And yes, walking on the uh, the cloverleaf roofs are sometimes you get stuck and have to jump a little bit. And I find that more on the normal pieces of roof versus the grass roof. And yes, I know these are not meant to be walked on. Alright, so it's 1940. So I'm going to set up a lean-to real quick. And then, of course, when I'm after I sleep, I'll tear it down. Because I don't want to try and do the video while it's late at night. Because then it would be hard to see what I'm doing. So now we're just waiting on the timer. So I'm... Another 20-something seconds. And like I said, this floor is where I put my mushroom gardens. Not that I used them, but I didn't want to have just an empty floor in the middle of my building either. Alright, now that we've slept. And yes, while building, I do recommend having a lean-to or some place to sleep nearby, as well as a couple of... Uh, Storage baskets. And I say storage baskets, not storage boxes. Uh, storage boxes using acorn shells have become a bit of a rarity for me because I've got so many boxes throughout the world. Alright, let me go back to doing my floor pieces. And then I make sure that my floor all orients the same direction. My floors are going e east and west. Now this is a floor that has the storage boxes, the spinning wheels, and the bed. And there will be one more floor, which is actually the roof. And that's where I'll have the water, the jerky, and the pallet storage. All up there. Just going around getting all these laid out. Ant armor definitely helps getting this done in game. There is a ton of grass nearby, so you know it's not a shortage of any kind of supply really. There's you're not far from the fallen oak branch, so you have sap nearby for your uh, lights and boxes. Uh, like I said, weed weed stems are plentiful in this area, and there's grass surrounding the baseball down on the ground. Clover leaves can be put in your inventory, and if you go any one of the flooded zones or even right by the mysterious machine you can fill up your um, your inventory with clover leaves without having to go travel that far I think I had to fill up my my inventory with clover leaves three or four times to complete this build but I didn't have to, I didn't have to travel very far because there's a bunch of them close by and as well as I would do one section of cloverleaf walls and then a day or two in game would pass while I was collecting grass and building that. So by the time I went back to the area where I first collected cloverleafs, it had all regrown. So given the resources time to respawn, uh, definitely helps as far as not having to travel that far. Alright, now to do the corner pieces just to finish it off. Once we finish this floor, there will be one more section or one more level of roof pieces to go up, and that'll be where the actual roof is. 
even though it won't be built out of roof pieces, it'll be built out of grass floor. And if you do decide to build this in game and later on want to build a pyramid, well, you've already got the blueprint laid out for a pyramid. You just got to get on top of it, count the base, count the, pe the pieces on the top, and then lay out your new base. So we're going to, once again, back to the roof corner. Because that is the basis for having everything supported. realize something I should have put that there it's only two pieces not three see off in the distance over there I have my mushroom bases built I have a video on those as well and that's actually where they're sitting in my in my live game as well with a giant tower sitting next to them for the zip lines all right one more roof corner then we're gonna switch to the inverted pieces keep going around and then once like I said there's one more level of roof pieces that sit directly on top of this that then support the very top of the base which is where the zip line tower water collectors even a water tank jer uh, the jerky racks and pallet sword is all up there now you can put your all those uh, different items I just mentioned however you want wherever you want whichever floor you want um, that's just how I have mine set up. Before I leave this area, I will just do this here. I'm not a big fan of changing blueprints until one blueprint is 100%. But it's the only one on this floor, so or on that level. Now you could build this smaller if you don't like doing the double, the double uh, sections up. And just do it as a single section and have a lower ceiling. And therefore, your pyramid would be much smaller, much cheaper, and faster to build. Um, I don't like the way that looks. It's uh, well, it looks like the ceiling is literally on top of your head. So I I lift mine up a little bit. I understand this video is taking a while to make, but yeah, it's I'm not actually it's not that far from being done. And once again. Uh, handrails with on once I get the last handrail put in on the other side you see this room gets very very big and then the, the part on top is even bigger obviously this because I'm just trying to get the structure the exterior structure done first and then we'll come back and build uh, the interior pieces because technically where I'm standing is inside of the quote unquote bedroom because the bed sits right here a um, couple of armor dummies the chest sit along the, the wall to the right side of the screen the chest I have a setup right here for the chest I have 30 chests in the space that is not in the right spot Let's 
keep wrapping around. Like I said, the roof corner is the key to being able to build and have all this uh, be supported. You have to complete these pieces first and then do the inverted pieces next to it. And then after you've got these pieces and the inverted pieces done, then you can do the regular uh, grass roof piece, such as the ramp up over here on this uh, eastern side. You can put stairs or whatever you want inside of it and you know so you can basically do four windows if you want on the edges um, I just didn't like the way the stairs kind of made it look because I tried them it did not look it did not look the way I wanted it to look so now we will go back with the inverted pieces all the way around And I will get all of the uh, floor pieces done before I come back in and add all the little amenities. As you can see, we're up very, very high. So your zip line tower on top of this doesn't need to be, but any, however, six to ten uh, wall heights. It doesn't need to be that high, actually. You could keep it a lot lower. But I have mine up kind of high. If you if you were to stop by my Twitch stream, you'd see that I have uh, some like crazy tall towers. So that my zip lines have a nice angle on them so that I'm not taking forever to slide across the yard. I mean, the longer slides still take a minute, but that's just because of the length of the slide. So he's got a few more pieces of the inverted, then we'll do the regular grass roof, and then the roof, then the actual like top area. And then I'll come back in and just kind of lay out a few other pieces. So I lay out four more of these. See, it's not that easy to walk on the uh, on the clovers, so it's not the most uh, ideal for traveling up and down inside the base. But then again, that's why I have the way up as a uh, regular grass roof. It's a little bit easier to walk on those than it is these angle pieces. All right, so that is all of the exterior walls. Now I will go back to. I always like to start my floor in the same area, just kind of make it easier follow along if, you, if you're interested in building this yourself. Alright, now that I've got just a few corner pieces done, rotate my floor so it goes uh, east and west. I like to have everything looking all in nice and uh, continuous look. And as you can see, this is going to be a very, very wide open space that will allow you the ability to put your stuff however you want up here. I'll just lay out mine the way I had, the way I have it in, in game. 
I would also recommend a lot of handrails up here too. Uh, in case you go into multiplayer or if multiplayer is working for you. You don't have uh, friends that decide to run to run anywhere near the edge and then step off and die. Because without a dandelion tuft at this height, you will die if you're at the ground. I know. It happened to me because I thought I had a dandelion tuft and I jumped off. But that's typically my way to get down. You just jump down a dandelion tuft the way down. I didn't have one. Luckily, my respawn point was uh, either at this base or another base. So I was able to just zip line back over if it was at another base. But yes, getting the supplies up here, uh, it took a little bit, a little bit of time, obviously. Um, getting into the bottom of the base is not always the easiest. And now, it literally, it's just lay out grass planks all day long. <laughs> As you can see from the top of this top of this base, if I wanted to run a uh, sky bridge out, it, I could run it straight over to the porch. I'm already up that high. So as you can imagine, this this did take some time getting all the grass up, especially for this uh, level, with the uh, the actual floor being this big. Once I get it done, I'll lay out the just kind of the, the bottom three three levels for the uh, zip line tower where I have it positioned because I use the octagon shape that I have talked about in another video. That way, I could perfectly center it um, right on right on top of this base. Because at first, this is an upside down pyramid, an inverted pyramid. Once you add your zip line tower, if you do like I did, and add it right to the very center, it becomes a spinning top. We're almost finished with this. Now we just got to do the corner pieces. Which luckily there's not many of those, so it goes well, goes faster. If you didn't want to go this high, you could obviously, like I said, stop at the floor lower than this and make that work for you as well. I didn't like the way it looked, so I went bigger. Um, I apparently build kind of fast in game, so uh, it didn't take me that long. But we're almost up. We're almost done with the actual structure, like 100% done with the structure. Because all you gotta do is just add in the rest of these, and this structure is done. 
You see I have just those few gaps right there. Alright, so that takes care of that. Now I'm going to add handrails because uh, for myself and for others who might join on, join on me, it'll keep them from falling to their death. You know me, I'll run towards the handrail and just jump off. And I'm the type that after I jump, I'll look to see if I have a dandelion tuft equipped. I also do put a plant lamp right here in this particular section on all on the other three sides just so it kind of matches up. So you have that consistency of lights, but I do have the top part of this lit up very well uh, in game. Because like I said, I have jerky racks along this particular section we're doing now. Water is on the section that we just completed. Let me delete that. Please delete, delete the correct thing, thank you. And then also, because I forgot these on the floor below. No clue that I just completed it. So let's delete, delete that real quick. Well, let's place this one up here. And then delete this. And then, since I remembered it, might as well uh, knock this out. But you see, this is the room where I have all the boxes, spinning wheels, and the bed. Armor dummies, that kind of stuff. This particular section of my base is there's nothing along the edge here. This area is blank for now. Um, I have a feeling that if we ever get anything added new, I have space. I do not like to have my bases cluttered. So that's why I build kind of big and space things out. And we're almost done with these handrails. So, we have handrails all surrounding everything. Now, that is the center from there. The reason I'm looking for the center is because now I'm going to set up my octagon, which is my, octa my octagonal shape going up. So, this square right here is dead center. So, then I set up my the base for my zip line tower. Like I said, once this is set, it becomes a spinning top. It's no longer a pyramid. And that puts your tower dead center in the middle of your base. Just for the, uh, the aesthetics look of it, that's all. I'm only going to do these walls. I'm not even going to worry about the bounce web. Um, if you want to know about building the, the octagon towers. I do have another video on that. I have a video covering four different tower designs that I think are very uh, they're efficient, they're cheap, they look nice. And then when I say cheap, I, as in it doesn't cost a lot of resources to build them. I need to delete that real quick because that's, yeah. And this tower can go up as high as you want it to. I have my zip line receiving anchor sitting right here by the base of the tower. So that all my lines coming in actually connect up here on the top of the base. Like I said, I have jerky racks down this side. I'll just put one input in position. So this side is where I have jerky racks. I'm going to 
kind of skip through some of these finer fine tuning pieces if you guys want to see what it actually looks like 100 percent completed um i do stream every day on twitch you guys can stop by and i'll be glad to show it off to you since you know getting to my base is as easy as zip lines ours like i said i have pallet storage along this side i have pallet storage for both So I have jerky, jerky racks down that side, water, uh, a lot of lights, pallet storage, a tower that goes up, oh, nine or 12 sections, I can't remember. Down in here, I'll find the wall in a second. I just built out a couple of sections of window wall. I think it's about there. Basically building a bedroom. I know they're not, you know, they're not uh, necessary, but I do them anyway. And then... So because this video is getting long, I'm trying to speed it up a little bit. And you can use uh, angled pieces, angled wall pieces to kind of finish off that that section over there. So you see when you put this one over here to the to the left, you have the gap. So you can put the, the angled wall pieces in there if you want. You don't have to. Leave it open. And then I don't do a door. I just leave it open like that. Got the uh, the bed pretty much centered. I have armor dummies in front of every window. All of my armor dummies face out. In this base. Actually, most of my bases. And there's an armor dummy in front of these two windows and these these two as well. There's six armor dummies here. The other thing I want to cover real quick in, this, in, the, uh, in the video is box storage. So, using wheat stem walls, I connect it to the edge of right here where it connects to the, the wall, the, the angled wall, and this line of floor coming off that window. And I have 30 boxes in here. And I'll, obviously, you're going to have your boxes along the bottom. I turn mine sideways to fit more. And you would just continue across, you know, left to right however you want to do it. Line them up however you want. Yes, there is wasted space in the back. I, I know that, but it's all right. Now I'm just going to show you how to do the middle floor and you would just duplicate that on the top floor. So you come in with your angle, your angle uh, floor piece there, turn it that way, turn it this way. Now, now you have the three pieces set up like so. And that's when you come back with a four piece. And once again, you then just repeat this this way, come back with another four piece after you put those two angles in. And then finish it off with three more angle pieces. And there you have it. Now you can do that exact same floor for the top row. And once you have your floors in place, you can then come back with boxes. I always find it easier to stand up here so I can line mine up right at the edge of the, the, uh, the shelf. And you can pretty much easily fit 10 wide. And you do another row up on top for the exact same thing. I did my spinning wheels are over here. I have a bunch of spinning wheels along this wall. I'm only going to put the one. I also have you know, workstation in case I need to craft anything. A smoothie, smoothie station just in case. Uh, I want to make you know, the healing smoothies. And then for no apparent reason other than just put, put it there. That. 
But that is the basics for building my inverted pyramid or spinning top, depending on how you look at it, base. If you guys want to see more, more builds like this, uh, I do stream every day on Twitch. My link's in the description below. Feel free to stop by, ask questions. Ask me to if you want to take a look at one particular base, I will gladly you know, hop a zip line over there and show it to you. But until the next video, y'all have a good one.